Yes, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the MU stand. This is your match reaction. Leeds United nil, Manchester United 2. Of course, the goals came from Marcus Rashford and Garnacho. You're looking at them. What a game. I mean, what a game. Where do I start? Where do I start to talk about this? I thought the first half was pretty much even uh, in terms of chance uh, and, and in terms of attacking uh, third, uh, controlling the game. I think it was an even game in the first half. Leeds had the better chance, I would say, uh, throughout the whole 45 minutes until Bruno Fernandes with that last um, chance. Just before the half, Bruno Fernandes was actually one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper and uh, a big miss on that. But second half, look, I was I was asking for more from Ten Hag. And I was asking Ten Hag to make a substitution. Uh, and in the second half, he didn't do it. He didn't do it. He waited he waited so long uh, to make those subs, but as soon as as soon as Garnacho came in, I thought we started to play more uh, better than we were doing in the first half. And Wickholz was pushed as a number ten, and Rashford was put as a number nine. And again, yet again, Rashford scores when he plays as a number nine. I just don't understand. I I, I just don't understand from. Eric Ten Hag's perspective on why he's not, why is he not starting Marcus Rashford as a number nine? Why? I just, I'm confused. Like, I'm really confused. I, I'm at this point now asking questions on Ten Hag. I know we won the game. We should be celebrating. But the question I have is why are you not starting Marcus Rashford as a nine? If we don't have Martial available, I think we need to start Marcus Rashford as a nine. The same thing happened last week. When we took off Wickholz and we put Marcus Rashford as a nine, immediately Dalot puts a, a cross in and Rashford scores. And today is the other end. Luke Shaw puts a cross in and Rashford scores. My question is, why is Wickholz not there? The whole 80 minutes. I mean, what what is Wickholz doing? Like, I know he puts us, I mean, he gives us a lot of defensive work. Uh, he puts a lot of intensity I like that. I like that. But he needs to he needs to give us more. He needs to give us more in terms of uh, making an effort into the game um, as in be at the end of something. Like, why are you always invisible during games like 60, 70 minutes? He just disappeared. He wasn't he wasn't in the game at all. We just made a few tweaks. And we put Rashford, like I said, as a striker. Uh, we managed to score that massive, massive goal, massive goal. Uh, of course, VAR checked the goal here. You're looking at it. Uh, VAR checked the goal. It was good. Onside, onside. And after that, of course, Leeds had to come out. They had to come out to get back into the game. And they start risking more. They start risking more. And for the second goal, Garnacho, uh, Wigholz sets up Garnacho and Garnacho cuts in and just have a pop and just hits the post and go in. Massive, massive goal. That second goal just basically secured the win for us. We needed that second goal. We needed that second goal uh, to go in because at one nil, you never know. They can come back and score another goal and draw this game. We've seen it in the past. Crystal Palace did it to us. So, it's great to see that we managed to kill off the game uh, by scoring that second goal. Uh, man of the match. Okay, so I want to talk about man of the match. I know most people would say um, Rashford is man of the match. But for me, I think this guy was man of the match. I think he has been outstanding in this match. Yes, he had an awful game. He had an awful game last time around, but in this match, he was cleaning up a lot of messes, didn't put a foot wrong. He didn't make a lot of mistakes. Uh, he was very energetic in the middle of the park, especially not having Casemiro. He had to do the dodgy work and the hard work by his own. Yeah, Sabasa was next to him, but he did a lot of work in this match, and I believe that Fred should be uh, awarded man of the match, but you could disagree. Let me know in the comment section who was your man of the match is it Fred? Is it Marcus Rashford? Is it Garnacho? Just let me know in the comment section. But I thought I would give it to Fred because he did more work. I think I'm, I'm proud of the performance that he's shown in this match, especially how disappointed I was watching his game. 
just on Wednesday, just on Wednesday. So it's a massive improvement from Fred. Fred is always like either he's 100% or he's 0%. Like he's always, he doesn't give you an average game. He's always gives you like a very good game or a very bad game. And that needs to change. I think he needs to consistently give us seven out of 10, uh, eight out of 10 performances. Okay, who else I want to talk about? So I want to talk about, um, yeah, workhorse. So workhorse, I kind of covered workhorse here. He needs to do more. Ten Hag loves him for some reason. He loves him so much, but I don't see it. I don't see it. Did he get a, an assist for Garnacho's goals today? Uh, yes, he did, but I wouldn't call that an assist. It's just a simple pass. I would have done it myself. Garnacho had to do a lot more to score that goal. So I, it's, it's hard for me to call it an assist, but somehow at least he got involved. At least he got involved today. I mean, he he has been anonymous. He has disappeared for a large period, uh, period of, uh, of games in the past seven games. Uh, Sabata. Sabata, he's continuing his half form, I think. This guy doesn't put a foot wrong. Every single match. Now, this is his second or third start for uh, Man United. And again, he has delivered. He doesn't make a lot of mistakes. He covers Fred really, really well. And he's good in ball possession. I know he's playing deeper now. That's not his favorite position. But he's doing a job for the team. He's doing a job for the team. And that is great to see. That is very great to see from Sabatza. Uh, Sancho, Jaden Sancho. Sancho did not have the best of games. Uh, he was rightly taken off, but... Is it because Weghorst was playing as a center forward? I don't know. Because Rashford and Sancho were at the same level for me before that change. So before the change was made, Rashford was not impacting the game. And same as Sancho. And Sancho was taken off. Garnacho came in. And Weghorst uh, got pushed to like a number 10 role. It's just a weird role. And Rashford has a nine, and that changed the game. So maybe we could have seen a better uh, Sancho if if he stayed on and we made that formation change, possibly, possibly. But Eric Ten Hag, yet again, he has done it uh, this time around. It has worked for him. The substitutions, the decision-making, and the formation, it has worked. We won the game, so we should be happy. We should be happy. Uh, Dalot did hit the crossbar. Dalot had a, a good attempt in the first half. He hit the crossbar. I wish that ball went in, but it was a good effort from Dalot. Um, he's unlucky not to score. Unlucky not to score. Uh, Marcus Rashford, like I said, the man, the legend, the big boy, Marcus Rashford and Garnacho is the future. I've talked about Garnacho in my preview. We do not need to put a lot of pressure on this guy. He's not the he's not Cristiano now. We need to give him time to become a player like Cristiano. So we need to wait and see what he does. But people, please, let's just not put too much pressure on this kid because this boy has has a lot of talent. Okay, so uh that is it. I think I want to show you guys my um uh we are the table uh, the league table quickly before I finish. I wanted to I wanted to show you the, the league table here. You're looking at it. Um, where did it go? So, it's not this one. Where did it go? Yeah, so, league table. We are second now. We are second with 46 points. With 46 points, we are second. Of course, we played 23 games. Let's wait and see what Arsenal does against Man City. Man City are just about to play now in like 30 minutes or so. As they lose or if they drop points or draw, we're closing the gap. We're closing the gap, but we are second, baby. We are second. So let's be excited. Let's be excited and let's see what's going to happen. But thanks for watching, guys. Uh, that is it. Man of the match. Uh, Fred for me. Like I said, do let me know in the comment sections uh, who's your man of the match. And don't forget to smash a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. And I am out. Thanks for watching again. Peace. Get in, United. Get in.